Welcome to this short training video on how to apply payments to customer invoices in NetSuite. This video is presented to you by Business Solution Partners. I'll show you how to access the payment entry form, how to select or review the AR and cash accounts. I'll show you how to apply full or partial payments to invoices. And I'll show you how to search for payments associated with an invoices after processing. There are multiple ways to access the Accept Payments Entry Form. One of them is to search for the customer, and when you find the customer that you receive payment for, you can click on Accept Payments. Another way is to search for the invoice, and from the invoice you can accept payment. But I'll use the Customers Accounts Receivable accept payments option. And this will take me to the payment entry form where I can look up for any customer. The payment number is pre-filled and so is the date which can be changed to a previous date. And here you can search the customer that you're applying the payment for. And once I selected my customer, a few fields have been pre-filled, such as the accounts receivable this customer is linked to, the subsidiary, um, there is a balance from this customer. The AR account is the one associated with the customer, which you select at the time of setting up your customer record. The options for the cash side are either the undeposited funds account or you can select a cash account if you're posting your payment directly to cash. I don't have a cash account set up for this subsidiary, so I will have to leave my payment in the undeposited funds account, which I can choose either here or just click here. The currency is the one associated with the customer, which is the same currency associated with a subsidiary because you can only have one subsidiary per customer. Now I'm going to scroll down. Some of these fields up here you can use if you're required to, like location, the memo, you can enter a memo or you can enter a memo for your payment if you wish. Over here where we have apply, we're going to start applying the payment to my customer invoices. So I want to show you how to enter a full payment and a partial payment. If the customer sent me 500 oh no, $750 and I confirm that the customer is paying the remaining balance on this invoice and partial payment on this one, I will click on this one uh, invoice, the first one, and the payment amount is defaulting to the invoice amount or the remaining invoice balance. You can change that here if, let's say, the customer had only sent $150 for this invoice. For the second invoice, I confirm that the customer only paid $500. So I will change this to $500. And you can see here now that the payment amount has been updated to 750. The next time I get a, a payment from this customer, if the payment is for the remaining 500, I'll come back here and go through the same process. Now my payment is ready to be saved and I'll click on save. and just give it a second. And my invoice or my payment has been applied to the invoices I selected. So now let me show you how in the future you can find payments associated with an invoice. Let's take this invoice for example, 3093899. 
309-3899. And let's say I'm here and I'll type 309-3899. It's an invoice. You click on it and then once you get to the invoice, you can find payments that have been made against this invoice previously by going to related transactions over here. And if you scroll down, you can see the payments that I just applied to this invoice today. And it shows that it's not deposited because as you might remember, I set my cash account to the undeposited funds account. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video or need training or support with NetSuite modules or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or phone number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs, and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation. Visit us at bspny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.